I am currently stood at one of the locations that yielded some of the most famous footage from the entire Battle of the Bulge here in December 1944. Now where I'm currently stood is on the road between Potto and Recht. Potto is over that way to the west and Recht up there to the east. It was here on the morning of the 18th of December that Kampfgruppe Hansen was travelling from Recht in the direction of Potto and they were the flank protection for Kampfgruppe Piper. Heading from Potto with orders to retake the town of Recht was the 14th Cavalry Group. And it was here as they travelled along this road in the mist and fog of December 1944 that they met head-on Kampfgruppe Hansen. As Kampfgruppe Hansen was moving from Recht down this road, the big, imposing Jagdpanzer 470s were moving along this road and they spotted the 14th Cavalry Group first. Engaging their vehicles, they started to take out vehicle after vehicle in the convoy. Now, at this point, the crewmen of the 14th Cavalry Group started to struggle. Their vehicles were bunched up and as they took more and more hits, confusion started to uh, run right across the ranks of their men. What they did try and do was they tried to turn their vehicles around. However, the ground here isn't particularly hard. There's steep banks. And as they did so, their vehicles got stuck, making the situation even worse. Now what makes this area here really interesting, there was some incredible footage filmed here by the German war correspondents that were attached to Kampfgruppe Hansen. And this footage has become synonymous with the Battle of the Bulge and there's a few images in particular that define, from my point of view at least, everything that the Battle of the Bulge was from the German perspective. Now what's really interesting about a lot of the footage that was filmed here 
on the 18th of December. Because it was filled for propaganda purposes, the Germans had to make it look more dramatic than it actually was. And this scene here, you see these SS Grenadiers running across the road and the road does bend around to the left. So we know that it's around this area here. But in reality, what that means is they're actually attacking from the way they've come. They're heading back toward Recht in this image. And there's quite a few of those in the series of footage where you see the SS attacking in the opposite direction to which they should actually have been going. This SS trooper here, this is one set of images to me that really epitomizes the Battle of the Bulge. And despite a lot of popular myths on the internet, he's never been named. Um, but this photo was taken along this bank here and it shows them smoking captured American cigarettes. And I just think for me, it just epitomizes the toughness of the Waffen SS. He's got his fighting knife um, jammed into his jacket, a belt of 792 millimeter ammunition to feed his MG42 draped over his neck. And they all look pretty fearsome. So this knackered old shed behind me here doesn't look particularly significant and if you're thinking the same at home I'd be inclined to agree. But what is important about it is in some of the footage and there's one distinct clip that you can see where a Waffen SS trooper stops on the right hand side of a, an M8 armoured car. He's got a cigarette in his mouth, he looks around and then continues moving forward. Well actually he continues moving in the direction of Recht rather than Poto, the direction they should have been advancing. But this structure can actually be seen in the background of those images. And clearly now it's um, long since seen its best, but it's cool that it is still here and that you could see it in those images. But just one thing to bear in mind though, with, those original, with that original footage is all of these trees that are here now are all newly planted and this area was all big open fields and you could see much further. So it does change the perspective a little bit. It makes it a little bit harder to try and picture it, but it was very much this area. Now, one other area that's great about this section of the road between Recht and Poto is this entrance here into the field. This is where we see clearly in the footage a Jagdpanzer IV parking up off the road and moving down here. And it's still the same as it was 80 years ago. So if you've enjoyed this episode all about Poto and the ambush here between Kampfgruppe Hansen and the 14th Cavalry Group, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel because it all really helps. Okay, see you all in the next one.